What's up YouTube, it's Ben Nader here, and in this video, I wanna give you three things that are critical to your success in business. So everyone knows that hindsight is 2020, meaning if you look in the rearview mirror, you can see everything clearly. You can understand exactly what you would and would not do in business or what moves you would make on the chessboard if you were still playing the game and raising to the level of success that you're at now, right? But if you're watching this video and you're just starting out or you're just thinking about getting into business or wherever you're at, it really doesn't matter. This video is gonna be valuable for you because you're gonna be taking away three things that I think are the most critical items for you to focus around. Obviously, there's plenty of nuance around all of them, but these three critical items are things that you need to put into place right here, right now. So definitely watch until the end and you will find some value in exactly what I'm gonna tell you. All right, so first things first, number one, get into business early. I don't care what kind of business it is, so long as it's legal and it makes money, get into business early. I don't care if that means 12 years old, I don't care if it means that you're watching this video and you're 30, 40, 50, 60, get into business as early as you see this video and you're motivated and hyped up about doing business. If you are truly after it, if you're an actual entrepreneur, get into business early. So look, the important factor here is that oftentimes I'll look at the businesses that I have now and I'll think in my head, what if I had started that six, seven years ago, right? Or what if I had started that 10 years ago? How much more money would I have had? Or how large would that business be at this point? Or would somebody have bought that business by now for many, many millions of dollars, right? Like all these questions float around in my head and they all come from, well, what if I had just started earlier? But of course, we can't just do that because it's a loop and it's a you know hindsight 2020 type of thing and that can go on forever and ever in a day. So that's why I'm telling you right now to start early, right? So whatever you do, get into business early. It's a huge factor in your success. You're definitely not gonna kick yourself later for starting early and you're gonna get way ahead of the game for some things I'm gonna tell you up next. Getting into business early just means that you have a leg up on everybody else. I don't care if you're 12 years old and you're starting an e-commerce business that's making seven figures. By the way, that's happening all over the place, all over, like in case you weren't aware, people are making a million bucks a year, uh, 12 years old, 15 years old, doing e-commerce, doing all kinds of things online for that fact. Um, there are people doing e-commerce at 35, 45, making multi millions of dollars per year. Like it does not matter. So with that being said, start early, right? But the pitfalls, the pitfalls that always come, we always talk about this, right? You're gonna make mistakes. Those mistakes are gonna be failures, right? That turn into lessons learned. I think we talked about this in yesterday's video. If you didn't catch that video, catch yesterday's video. But it's really important that you understand to fail forward, fail fast, and understand from all those failures, right? Because ultimately every failure, failure turns into a lesson, a lesson that you learn and then you never make again, right? So as soon as you can make those, if you start early, then you'll never be making those mistakes. Again, you're optimizing your entire business and you're just going further and further and deeper and deeper and everything's going really, really well in your business. So starting early has a lot of benefits to it. Another element to starting business early is that there's just no point in waiting. There's zero, zero upside to you basically just having any kind of lag time, right? I see oftentimes people in like my network, right? That will say, well, I'm gonna start my business September 1st, or I'm gonna start my business, um, I don't know, in the winter time around Christmas, or for whatever reason, I'm starting it next summer, right? Like. There is no such thing as setting a start time, right? Just start, like just start doing it, you know? As soon as you have the idea, do it. Like just get going, just get moving. I don't care if it's filing your LLC, I don't care if it's getting a DBA, getting an EIN, like doing whatever you need to do to start your business, just do it. If you need to make a website and that's your first thing that you wanna do, go ahead and do it. There's no order, like there's no playbook, right? Uh, in general for business, right? Once you get into a specific business, of course, there's obviously certain things you need to do, but starting a business and doing it and just doing the things you need to do to get it off the ground, just start. All right, so number two, and this is probably the most important thing on these three, is get a mentor. 
get someone who's done it before you. All right, guys, so I can go on and on and on about this forever because this is literally critical to your success. And I think a lot of people are kicking themselves because they're at a point where they're like, I don't know what to do next, or I have no idea like how to scale this, or I don't know what to do now that I've made this catastrophic mistake, right? Have a mentor, find someone that's done it before you. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, right? Like, do you know how many people have created businesses that so many other people have created the same business before them that have made millions and millions and millions of dollars? Do it with a mentor, right? Find someone that's done it before you, network with them, connect with them, also related back to yesterday's video, check that video out, but find a mentor and find someone that can help you along the way, right? Not everyone is gonna be able to help you. Some people are strictly focused on their business and doing what they wanna do, but other people are super into mentorship, right? They're super into helping and helping other people win and seeing them succeed and seeing them just flourish, right? So find a mentor like that, that really wants to see you win, that understands business and specifically the business that you're in, not just business in general. You need to be on the hunt for somebody that knows what you are doing, right? And you also need to find someone that knows really how to work with you, right? Not just how to work with anybody, but knows how to work with you. And also you need to find someone that you can work with, right? Like if you don't have a good vibe or if you guys don't have a good connection, it's not gonna work out. But you need a mentor, you need a guide, you need a Sherpa. You're climbing Mount Everest here, right? You need a Sherpa to hold your bags while you're on the way to the top. I can personally tell you that I've spent more than I'm wanting to say on video right now on how much I've spent on mentorship in the realm of business overall, right? So I'm in the real estate game, I'm in the recruiting game, I'm in the uh, I'm in the market, I'm in the stock market, I'm in a lot of different ventures, okay? So with all that said, I have mentors and people that guide me in all of those different spaces, right? So for instance, I mentioned this again in a, a few different videos, but in different areas, you have no idea where to even start, right? So that's why we have Recruiter Empire, right? Because that's the business that's made me the most money. That's the business that I know the best. So we teach people how to start recruiting and staffing agencies. And with Recruiter Empire, we've helped over 1,000 students make over $30 million in revenue for themselves, right? That's how the power of mentorship works. When you find someone that's done it before you, that has a blueprint, that has the whole layout, what the mistakes are, how to not make the mistakes, that's what mentorship is all about. So getting a mentor for your business is critical, super important, something I would absolutely not start a new business without and 100% do. So that's number two on the list. Honestly, it should probably be number one. It's probably the most important of all three of these. Now let's go into number three. All right, so number three is don't ever get comfortable. So you always wanna have a growth mindset, right? So always, 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 always be growing, be innovating, be uncomfortable in whatever you're doing, right? Scale your business or businesses, right? Because at this point, once you've gotten into the groove, right? Once you've started, started early, hopefully, once you've gotten a mentor, somebody that helped you out to get up and running, and it's probably still helping you out, hopefully. Number three, just stay uncomfortable. Never get comfortable. The point at which you get comfortable is the point at which you basically slowly let your businesses die right? You always need to be in growth mode, right? I don't believe in any such thing as retirement, right? You know, you can kind of call whatever you want to call retirement, retirement, if you have a lot of like passive income coming in through real estate or through dividends or, or whatever it is, right? But you always want to feel uncomfortable, right? You always want to be growing. You always want to be adding new things into your business or just simply scaling your business. Whatever your business is, scale it, right? Add new clients, right? Add and expand to the business that you're already in. Because if it's already making money, like why not 10X the money you're making? You know what I mean? If you learned what you've learned and you've mastered it, right? Take it to a point where you can 10X that, right? Don't go into the shiny object syndrome and go all over the place and be like, I'm in this, I'm in that, I'm in this, I'm in that but master one thing and then scale that thing and then add something else into it. But 
The key on number three is to always be uncomfortable and always have that growth mindset so that you can always continue forward and you'll never not be successful in business doing all three of those things. Hey, if you're not in our Facebook group, it's called Recruiter Empire. It's right down below this video. There's a link, click that link, grab it, go ahead and join the group. Also, if you wanna to talk to my team about Recruiter Empire mentorship, if you're interested in starting a recruiting or staffing business, book a call with my team, link right down below. Also, in the description of this video, you can't miss it, and you can chat with our team. With that said, I will see you guys next time.